And now we're moving to the interviews. Joining me today in the studio is Glenn Grant, a former lieutenant colonel in the British Army and now resident of Latvia, where he works with the Baltic Security Foundation on issues of regional security. Also, he has recently moved to a deep tech community. Welcome, Glenn. G great to see you. Thank you very much. Good to see you too. Let's start with this. While you were in the army, you oversaw troop deployments in Kosovo, as well as work to bring refugees out of Albania. Well, how has the region changed since that time? Ah, it's good. It's interesting. I mean, both, both countries are much, much more dynamic than people realize. Um, and I mean, Kosovo, Kosovo is actually beginning to be one of those thriving uh, entrepreneurial engines that, that, that 10 years ago, you would not have expected that. But, but I think that it's that both countries have got dynamic people. And so I think we're going to hear a lot more of them in, 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 the, in the future. Uh, you know, when I went to Kosovo, there were lots of houses with, uh, with no windows and houses with no doors. But you won't see that there now. It's, it's, it's growing and it's thriving. And actually, it's a lovely place to go. I think the service in Kosovo, in hotels and restaurants, is the best of any country that I've been in in Europe. Wow, that's a, that's a bit of a surprise. Let's, let's stay in the region for a bit. Um, well, we all follow um, the upcoming elections in Poland and how the relationships between Poland and Ukraine are seem, seemingly changing in these late, latest, latest days and, and weeks, specifically with, uh, with grain transit and grain export and import, but also with what Mateusz Morawiecki said, the Prime Minister of Poland, that, okay, we're not going to supply Ukraine with, with, uh, with weapons if they are, uh, they're going to pursue their idea of, uh, of, of going with grain to Poland. What do you think of this conflict? Is this the thing that just is necessary for the election period, for, uh, for peace, the uh, ruling party in Poland, or this is something I, real? No, I think, I think it, it's both. It's both. It's necessary for the election period because it's it's important. If if the if the public in in Poland are, are giving their taxes to Ukraine, um, then they they do want to see that uh, it's it's appreciated and they're getting something back for it. Um, I mean, they are getting peace and security. We know that, but it, but it's still Joe public still wants to see and hear something. There's a second thing to it which is that the weapons were actually pretty much running out anyway because Poland's already given a third of its defence forces to, to Ukraine. And there's a limit to how much more they can give without actually denuding themselves and, and actually risking their own security should everything go wrong. Uh, because some of the weapons that they expect to get from America are not going to come yet. And I think the last thing is that, you know, this is an agricultural country, Poland, they cannot afford to have the country trashed by by cheap uh, cheap cheap grain coming in and undermining uh, all the local rural areas, um, which which are part of the engine of, of Poland. So basically, everybody is defending their own interests, which is of course geopolitical. Which is natural. Which is natural. Let's see how how well do you know the uh, uh, the ranks, the military ranks. So last week, one of the UK shows has asked. Uh, chaps to count all uh, like how many uh, military ranks are there and he couldn't how many could you name you are yourself a lieutenant col colonel which makes it one. Oh, good grief we've got lots of arms of course so i mean if you want to start at the bottom um private gunner sapper corporal bombardier corporal of horse uh sergeant Staff Sergeant, Cavalry's got a funny name for a sergeant, I can't remember what it is. Uh, and then uh, Warrant Officer 2, Warrant Officer 1, So, and, and then you have the jobs, which are you know, Sergeant, sergeant Major, Company Sergeant Major, Battery Sergeant Major. Those are not ranks, but they, they fit in. Um, and then, uh, then you come into the officers of Second Lieutenant, Cornet for the Cavalry, uh, lieutenant, Captain, Major, Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel, Brigadier, Major General, Lieutenant General, General, Field Marshal that is no longer there. 
Holy How's shit. That? That's a lot of knowledge, young man. Let me, <laughs> let me ask you this. Which of these ranks is the highest? Marshal of the Royal Air Force, Field Marshal, or Admiral of the Fleet? Oh, that is a very good, a very good question. I mean, it, because the, the Navy is the senior service, then it must be Admiral of the Fleet. Funny enough, um, it, but, it's, it, they are all the same, but, at least how we Googled that. But, well, okay. Out of the, all the ranks that you know and, and you mentioned to me, which one is the sexiest to you? That's a very good question. I think major. 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 Yeah, because, because it's, it's, the, it's the job where you've got the greatest opportunity for, for change in the system. Um, because you, 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 you've got all the experience of frontline. You've got hundreds of friends all over the Army, Navy and Air Force because of Staff College. And you get really, really high-grade jobs as a, as, a, as a major. So, for example, our brigade chiefs of staff are majors, whereas in half the other armies, they're, 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 they're lieutenant colonels or even colonels. Glenn, could you, could you remember how you've been in the army? And can you tell me in your best lieutenant colonel voice, like I'm your, I'm your soldier, and you tell me that it's bloody well time to wrap up this interview and close the show. How would you do that? Well, young man, I think you've done a pretty good job so far. I mean, you've come up with good questions and you've come up with um, some, some sharp comments generally. But I mean, I have to say that after a while talking to you, it does wear a bit thin. And it's probably time that you took yourself off to the bar, had a beer, and that we, we all just, you know, finished. Meet you next time. That was Glenn Grant. Thank you, Glenn. See you soon. See you soon, mate.